Hey everybody, Sagan here from the product team at Linear with another feature update. In this one, I'm going to walk you through our document subscriptions feature. So this feature works not only for project documents, but it also works for project descriptions and also initiative descriptions. And this is important because these places are oftentimes a central place for collaboration, whether it's notes from an important discovery call, like the one I'm about to show you, or a PRD for a project, or even the strategy and the goals for an org-wide initiative. So having the ability to subscribe to these documents really means that you're never going to miss another update that matters. Okay, so how do you subscribe? Let's start with a project document. Here I have one called Discovery Call. And the first important thing to note is that since I created this document, I am automatically going to be subscribed to the notifications for the changes that happen to it. And you'll see here that I can simply remove myself from the list, add myself back, and you'll also see that I can add other teammates here. So if I feel that, you know, this is really important for Julian to follow along, I can add him and then he will also receive the notifications for this document. We'll notify you about three things that happen to this document. The first one is if there's any comment or reply or any discussion that happens on this document. So if someone comes in here and leaves a comment, we will let you know. The second one is if anyone makes any material changes to the content of this document. So if Julian came in here and removed this paragraph, we would also let you know about that. And then lastly, if someone comes and moves or deletes this document, we will also notify you about that. Okay, so let's move on to a project description. So here I have a project and we have this description here. And this functions much like the document I just showed you. So in this case, if you are the project lead or if you are any of the team members on this project, you will be auto-subscribed to changes that happen in this description area. All right, and lastly, let's go to an initiative. So here's an initiative. Just like on the project, we have this description area and the same thing. So if you are the owner, in this case, it's non, you will receive all the notifications for changes that happen here. Okay, so what do these notifications actually look like? I'll head over to my inbox and you'll see here that I have two notifications from the same project description that I just showed you earlier. And this first one is because Machek has left a comment on the document. So if I click in here, you can see that the comment is here talking about our legal team being involved early in the process. And importantly to note, I wasn't at mentioned in this comment. I received the notification because I'm subscribed to this project's description. The second one here is the same project description, but it's showing content changes. So Importantly, you can see the time period that these changes were made, and you can see that they were made by Machek and Jan. And if I look here, there are two things to look at. The first is at the bottom, we show you the number of changes, and we show you which change you are on and you're currently looking at. And this is indicated here on the left. So for example, change one of three, I'm looking at this paragraph. There were some words added, there were some words removed. As I scroll through these, you can see that the next one comes into focus, and here there was an entire row that was removed from this table. And then the third one is this bullet design team was added to this list. So you can scroll through these changes in the document and see exactly what's going on. When you click out of this overlay, you're left in the actual live document. If you ever want to get that back, you can just hit view changes and it will bring the overlay back. And similarly, if you want to view all the history for this document, you can click this and it will take you here where you can scroll through them and you can even restore previous versions if you want. Okay, that's it. I hope this is helpful. As always, if you have any feedback or any questions, please feel free to reach out and I hope you enjoy the feature. Thanks so much.